Hello guys, it's Jackson and welcome back to another script tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you the basics when it comes to making a custom command. A command is something that the player can type in the chat that will perform an action. So you are going to want to make a new script file. If you do not know how to do this, check out my last script tutorial on the basics of script. Inside this file, we are going to begin making our custom command. Custom commands are quite a simple thing to make with script, so let's begin. The first thing you are going to want to type to make a custom command is command, and then the command that you are going to want. This command can be anything that you want, just make sure that it begins with a slash. In this tutorial, I'm going to be making the command slash diamond, so that is what I'm going to type. You are going to want to end this line with a colon and press enter to begin typing on the next line. Some other examples of some commands that you might want are slash spawn, slash help, slash staff, but it doesn't really matter because the script you can make the name of the command whatever you want. On the second line you are going to want to press tab. As mentioned in my script basics video, everything under the colon needs to have a tab in front of it for the line to be registered as part of the first line. Now we are going to go over all of the optional things that you can have in a custom command. There are 8 different optional settings that we will discuss in this video, followed by the required trigger setting. Just a heads up, but these are all optional settings that we are going to discuss now, so try not to get overwhelmed because you don't actually need all of them, you just want a few if you want to make something more specific when you're doing a custom command. The first optional setting is called aliases. An alias is a different word or phrase for the command that can also be used. For example, you could add slash dia or slash d to the aliases to make the slash diamond command also run when you do slash dia. You can add as many aliases as you want. The second optional setting is called executable by. This has three options, players, console, and players and console. This allows you to make a command that only the console can execute or one that only players can execute. The default is players and console, so there is really no need to add this option if you want both to be able to use it. The third setting is permission. This will allow you to create a command that requires a specific permission node to use. This means that if you want to make a command for moderators on your server, you can make the permission node something that will, you will only give to the moderator rank, such as diamond.command, which is the one I will use. Operator players have all permission nodes, so it doesn't matter what you put there if you just want operators to use it. The fourth setting is permission message. This will change what the game will tell the player if they do not have the required permission from the permission setting. You can set this to whatever you want, so you can set it to something like, you need the buy the donor rank to unlock this command to tell players that they need the donor rank to do the custom command. The fifth setting is description. This will allow the player to type a description for the command. What you type here will show up in the default slash help menu next to your command. This one is completely unnecessary if you're going to create a custom slash help menu, so just remember that. The sixth setting is called cooldown, followed by however long you want the cooldown of the command to be. This will make it so the player has to wait that long before using the command again. You can set this to an hour if you wanted to make a kits command that players can only use every hour. The seventh setting is called cooldown message. This is what the game will tell the player if they are unable to use the command because of the cooldown you set. The final optional setting that I will discuss in the script tutorial is the cooldown bypass setting. This will add a permission node that will allow people to ignore the command's cooldown. This can be used so that an admin is able to use a command quicker than the normal player base. Once you have all of your optional settings set, you are able to make the command actually do something. To start, you are going to want to add the line trigger, colon, then press enter, then tab twice to start typing the effects of the command. You can add as many effects as you want under your command. For this tutorial, I am just going to be using one simple effect. My effect will be give the player 64 diamonds. This will give whoever runs the command 64 diamonds. Now that you have a basic command all set up, you can save the file, then head over to Minecraft. On your server, you are going to want to reload the script with your command in it, and then test out your command. If the effects work, then you did it! You made a custom command! My command slash diamond gives the player 64 diamonds when ran. One thing that I did not discuss in the script tutorial is command arguments. In my next tutorial, I will explain how to use command arguments, so stay tuned for that! I hope you guys enjoyed this simple script custom command tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to check out my other script tutorials. If you have any burning questions you would like to ask me, send me a message on Twitter. Like and subscribe to boost my ego, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!